The district has several innovative programs that not only help the school children, but the community as well. One very good example is the community school at Pearl C. Anderson Junior High. This program might be cut to save enough money to give teachers a pay raise. Well, of care at any program and weigh it in terms of value to the total school population. We intend to cut out those things that are not relevant to the education of a child. Dallas School Superintendent Nolan Estes is going to Austin on Tuesday to talk to state education officials about where funds can be found to save such programs as the community school. The board has to make up its mind before Wednesday on budget and salary proposals to be prepared for a July 29th public hearing before they adopt the budget. For Channel 8 News on the Move, this is Jess Brown. The reaction has been uh, one of great concern because in this particular instance, many people put a lot of time, many voluntary, volunteer agencies gave of themselves to this effort. We look forward to a tutoring program. We look forward to recreation program. We look forward to library program. We look forward to extended education at very little cost to the public. Tell me this, Dr. Conrad, what luck do you think the board will have in keeping this particular program going and other programs. Is the board sensitive to these sort of things? The board is very sensitive to need of the entire population of Dallas. It is always difficult to cut out needed things. Sixteen windows here at the auditorium were kicked in by a crowd of about 2,000 kids. It was a full house inside an orderly group of about 12,000 people. 
The tickets had been sold out for the rock concert by Sly and the Family Stone for about two days and advertised as such. But the kids on the outside wanted to get in. Vandersly says they gathered around one of the in windows, kicked a window in, and the foray started. Vandersly says the trouble was caused by a minority of the young people. That certain element, he calls it, that is always down there for that type of show. Phyllis, was there any particular point in the ceremonies last night that you felt like maybe you had it made, that you had suddenly become Miss Texas? No, there was no point, and especially when the five finalists were named, all these girls were so beautiful that I decided that if any one of them won, they, they were most deserving, and I'd be very happy. How will this alter your <clears throat> private life? Um, I think I'll have to be just a little bit careful now that you know, who I talk to and what I say and things, but I think on the whole I'll still have the same friends I have and I'll still do the same things.